This is an amazing day to have the Chicago Center for Arts and Technology open here on the west side of Chicago, particularly at a time when we're hearing so much negative news about what's happening in Chicago, to have the, the excitement and the enthusiasm of a diverse group of people that are from all parts of the city, really, that are here to celebrate this opening. The mission of SHICAT is really to um, help elevate people, help inspire people with hope, uh, to take uh, kids who are in high school and encourage them to stay in school, give them a, a wonderful um, after school arts program that can really let them spread their wings and give them some opportunities they wouldn't otherwise have had. And from a vocational aspect, uh, our goal is to take people who might have been left behind, who might not have had the opportunities, and train them for jobs that are already existing in the community. So we start with the employer first and train them for the jobs that already exist. That we have adult and youth programming. And our adult programming is pretty innovative because we're doing uh, training in advanced manufacturing, particularly in maintenance mechanic, and no one else is really doing it at the community level. The high-end youth programming, particularly around 3D printing, animation, uh, audio video production. Um, and then the third thing um, is the art gallery. I don't know if you had a chance to see the art. It's, it's an amazing, uh, collection of art and so we have like one part art gallery, one part tech and training center and one part community development center. I'm part of the permanent collection and I'm showcasing three of my pieces for Shycat. A portion of the um, proceeds is going to go to the school so this is very exciting for all the artists involved. Shycat is transformation in education. This is the type of an investment that can help us overcome poverty, ignorance, structural racism into opportunity and creativity and connect us with the rest of the world. It's sort of a way to be able to impact our world in a positive way and make something beautiful for other, other people to see. And it's not just about the aesthetic, about the look of the artwork. It makes people feel something. It makes the world just a more beautiful place and it's a means to express ourselves. I think that you need to have different alternatives within communities that are able to capture people who might slip through the cracks. And that's what ShyCat is about, to be able to create those type of opportunities with a little bit of our alternative aspect to learning and to being able to develop skills. We're so excited to have ShyCat here and be a part of our uh, district. Um, they're a great addition to our ecosystem here. They'll be a great uh, collaborator with the hospitals, um, creating a career pipeline, um, providing uh, talented young employees for the hospitals. I'm here today because one, I believe in the mission. Two, Steve and I and others, Jessica, his wife, are committed to taking this idea to as many communities in America, and eventually we hope across the world, to use this as a strategy for addressing chronic poverty, chronic unemployment, and disaffected youth. So I'm very aware of where the U.S. is in terms of uh, education and the kind of um, knowledge that is going to be needed for the future. And we need people who are, you know, who understand technology, who um, are creative thinkers, and that's really where the art comes in, who are inspirational creative thinkers who can think outside of the box, and that's really the key to our success. There's been violence and there's been, you know, poverty and stuff, but there's always been hope. If there wasn't hope, then nothing like this could ever be created.